how to make your snap hook attaching straps look professional like this. Grab your snap hook, make sure that the opening gate is facing you, then grab your snap hook attaching strap and place it through the top slot right over here, just like this. Slide it all the way down. Bring your four fingers and secure the snap hook attaching strap just like this. Hold with your thumb the snap hook and now you're gonna route the snap hook attaching strap through the top slot right over here, just like this. Rotate your fingers over, all right? So always remember it's gonna be the four finger rule. Now you're gonna make a quick release. So I'm just gonna open up that opening right over here and I'm gonna slide the snap hook attaching strap through there to create that quick release. So here is my quick release. I'm gonna rotate my four fingers over just like this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to S fold the excess webbing. So right over here, just like this, rotate my four fingers over here like this, rotate my four fingers over like this, four fingers, and then like this, four fingers again. Okay, so there it is. So now what I have is I got my quick release right over here and I got my two S folds right over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure that with a retainer band. So let me grab my retainer band right over here and I'm gonna secure it here just like this. All right. Okay, so now when you secure it with a retainer band, what you wanna do is you wanna bring the retainer band as close as possible to the snap hook just like this. Why? Because it locks it in place. Let me show you if you don't do that. Now you're gonna have your snap hook that's gonna float. You don't want that to happen. So what you're gonna do is you're going to make sure that you have your retainer band as closest to the snap hook like this. Okay, all right, so now we are ready to go to the water. Okay guys, so now we're just gonna run it through some running water, so turn on the water, and now you're gonna wet the three folds right over here. So make sure to get all of that entirely wet, and as well as the part through the snap hook just like this, okay? So there it is. Make sure that you wet all of it so it all molds to the folds, okay? All right, there it is. All right, now we're good to go. Okay, so for this next part, you're gonna empty your soul pack and place it flat on the ground just like this. You're gonna take your folds right here and you're gonna place it flat on the ground and place a weight on it, just like this and like this. And you're also gonna place weights right over here onto the snap hook, okay? So that the snap hook attaching strap also molds to the snap hook, okay? So just like that, and we're just gonna let it dry overnight. Now that it's dry, we're going to identify the quick release over here because we're going to color the fold of it in red over here. We're then going to identify the two S folds, so one and two. We're gonna skip the middle one and go straight to the last one, and we're gonna color the fold in green over here, alluding to the green, white, and red attaching loops of the harness single point release, RH harness. Also, it's easy to remember because it's the same order and colors of the Italian flag. All right, so for this, I'm going to grab a map marker and it's gonna be super fine. And now I'm just going to go ahead and color in the fold. So I'm just gonna place it down just like this and it just fills in on its own. I just touch it and it just spreads the color just like that. Okay, all right, so there it is. I'll touch it up later and make it clean, but same for the last one for the green. Again, it's gonna be also, you know, a map marker, super fine, and I'm gonna go ahead and color that right over here. I'm just gonna color that fold in green. Okay guys, so I touched up the colors over here and so this is what the end product looks like. So now I'm just gonna pull on this pull handle that acts as a release handle and I'm just going to show you how it all comes apart. Okay, just like that. All right, so now it's just gonna slide out of the snap hook just like this. All right, so now this is what the snap hook attaching strap looks like, okay, without the snap hook. So now if I wanted to store it away, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get those folds just like this and I'm going to secure that with a retainer band just like that, just like that, okay? All right, and I'll just secure it like this, okay? And just stow it away. Now, if ever I need to use it, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that retainer band off, and now what I'm going to do is grab my snap hook, bring it through, and now my folds are gonna really make it easy for me to rig it, as you can see, just like this, okay? So there it is. All right, so that's the advantage of doing this. Okay, so there it is. 
Now, just bring it in. Just like that. All right, and now we're ready to jump again. Have a good jump.